Hello. This today is 2022nd February the 2nd. This is a, a how to on getting started with snake make. So I'm going to be very very brief. Um, so snake make is a workflow management system. I'll just quickly Google snake make. And if you have a look here, if you Google snake snake make, you can find the official documentation. This is the official documentation web page. So snake make is a workflow management system. So it's so I work in the bioinformatics field and I make a lot of I, I work in um, the genomics field in particular in bioinformatics and I make a lot of pipelines using SnakeMake. So other so some other similar workflow management systems. So there's Nextflow. There's this Nextflow which is based on Java, I think it was. If you have a quick look, it's yeah, it's Java based. And then there's um, the common workflow language. The common workflow language. Workflow language. These are just examples of of some other similar uh, workflow languages. So there's this, and then there's the uh, Woodle workflow description language. So these are these are examples of. Um, workflow languages where it helps you to make a workflow a pipeline of things. So this is just a quick explanation. You can Google or you uh, search on YouTube for the explanations of what they are, what the concepts are. But this is just a quick overview on how to get started. So first of all, um, so Snake Maker is Python based, so you install using Python. I'm going to assume that you know you're familiar with Python and the uh, Python package installer. So uh, pip install snake make. Do that and then this installs snake make. If you look at the official documentation, you can find in more detail about how to install. There are other so using the pip installer isn't one of the recommended options. So there's the conda and mamba, and then there's the minimal installation using conda, mamba, and then there's the by conda, and install via pip. This is, instead of conda and snake make can be installed with pip, but this uh, snake make has non-standard, non-Python dependencies, which isn't installed when you're just using a pip. But for most purposes, I don't think you need to worry about the non-Python dependencies because it's more of a graphical stuff from what I've been told. So pip install is fine. So here I've created in my home directory, I'm using an Ubuntu uh, server and I'm installed, logged in as the root and I've just made a snake make directory an empty one in my home. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to make a new file with the name snake snake file with a capital S. And then so to get started with snake make you can read up on the documentation if you're interested in some of the details but this is the basics so let's just make a simple rule with hello and then say I'm going to input, let's not define an input yet. I'm going to say uh, this rule is going to generate output.text and it's going to make that output by running the, let's do echo, echo hello world and then to output. I'm going to assume that you know, again, you know Python and bash. So I've saved this and then here, now that I've, because I've installed Python, uh, SnakeMake, there you are going to have the SnakeMake executable available. So if you have a look here, this is a Python executable. Now, because your Python executable is in your path, you can run Python with it, uh, SnakeMake with it. So 
the very basics is to use the core option to define how many cores you want to use to run your uh, snake make pipeline so here i'm going to just say cores one and then i want to make output.txt and then here now all this what this meant so it's building the 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 graph of the jobs and then you've provided one cause and then from because you define what output you want to generate snake mate goes through your snake file and then it looks for that output and then it's it finds the output the rule that outputs this specified uh, file and then it runs this rule so I said, uh, make this output file using echo hello world and then redirecting the output. Now I've got this output file. If I do cat, it says hello world. Okay, so we've made our output. The, what's useful about uh, snake, snake make is that you can make, you can make a series of rules that are interconnected together. So one rule follows another or you can you can add dependencies to rules and stuff. So I'm going to say here, I'm going to say input out, and this takes input from the previous rule, and it's going to output to a second file, second.txt. And then this is going to do shell, let's do a cat of the input, and then going to do that and then I'm going to do this is the second line and then this is going to append to the output I save that and then now I'm going to specify I, what before I specify the output let's delete the previous output now I'm going to run snake make again with one core and I'm going to specify that I want to make the second.txt file. So that completed. Slightly longer than last time. So now it's running two jobs because I said I want to make second.txt file. And I've specified the rule so that um, in order to make this second.txt file, it needs to read, it needs an output, it, it needs an input output.txt and then in order to get that input file, snake make has been made so that um, it re it looks for this file if it's not if it doesn't already exist. Um, it finds because it, the file doesn't exist because I deleted it. It looks for the rule that makes this file, and it found that the hello rule makes this file as an output. So that's why. It first, before running this, because it can't, because it doesn't have the input, it ran the hello rule first to make this output dot text, and then it ran this uh, rule, the world rule, which took in output dot text to make the second dot text. Now let's have a look at the, the list of files. You see we have two files here, and then we look at the second one, and it has it has two lines. Okay, that's the very basic of just making a self-contained rule. Let's try something slightly different. So there's this thing called wildcards because we don't want to have like a hard-coded files to make. What we would like to do is say, hmm, let's go with Let's go with prefix here and then say prefix here. And then we say, ooh, instead of text, I'm going to do second.txt here and then I'll say here, prefix here. I've changed the rules around a bit. So what this is going to do is say I've I'm running this snake file again, but I want to make a file called abs.txt. So 
that was just arbitrary. So I didn't specify a rule which um, makes abs.text uh, specifically, but what I did was I, I changed the rule where the output takes in a wildcard and the wildcard is prefix in this case. So now I specify that I want to make a uh, abs.text and it identified that um, this, the rule, the output that I specified is, needs to have the dot text at the end and then the, the text that comes before it, the prefix, is going to be recognized as the, as the prefix. So it made this file for me. It made this file for me. If I have a look at the ABS, it says hello world. It made this file because by running this rule. Now I'm going to delete these two. Now let's do, let's specify because I've changed this as well. For this one, let's say hello. Oh, sorry, snake make cause one, and I say snake uh, hello world dot second dot text. You see here, I've copied this in basically. So I'm saying I want to run, I want to generate this file where the hello world would be. Uh, read in as the prefix. See here, if I run that, oh, sorry, expected input files is underscore world and then the second. Uh, this is messing up because now there's a conflict between these two rules. Let's do CSV instead. I've changed that. So let's do that. Now, you get the basic idea, I'm going to assume. So it made, I didn't specify to make the hello world.txt, but it did it for, it snake, snake make did it for me by identifying the appropriate wildcards and, and running all of the dependencies of this job, this rule. So here I could I could add I could add additional if I wanted to I could add additional rules I could I could say rule uh, below I could also make another rule which does which takes in the this as well and here let's do Python instead so here I'm going to add a dependency import pandas as pd and then I'm going to do pd read csv and then the input file and then I'm going to modify a value and then going to output save that and then let's do snake make cause one mm, hello dot hello dot tsv do that. Rule exception. Let's quickly analyze. Hello, hello. Takes in a text. Step two. I'll put 
this failed index error because of this. Let's do a quick print. It's an empty, it's an empty file. So because it's yeah, I want to specify that the header doesn't exist. Do that. And now if I do hello below, if I have a look at that, I specified to have the index and the header as well. So it outputs this file. Okay, so that's that's the very basics. It's not a great uh, tutorial just to quickly demonstrate that you can use bash and you can use python as well there are a lot more things you can do which i will cover in additional videos but this is just a quick demonstration okay thank you